Hello Cancer, I'm here to give you insight and guidance and I just ask for spirit to meet you where you're at in this current space and time. So this is going to be a general reading so it's not going to apply to all Cancers and that's okay. So let's get started. Let's see what's going on with you Cancer, what's surrounding you. Cancer. saw a waterfall I saw a waterfall maybe you guys are where like maybe you live in a place where there's waterfalls or I'm hearing don't go chasing waterfalls okay okay cancer maybe you're chasing waterfalls don't go chasing waterfalls listen to the river and the lips that you used to I know that you're gonna have it your way or nothing at all, but I think you're moving too fast. Okay, so some of you cancers are moving too fast and chasing waterfalls. I seen a rainbow yesterday, but too many stones. They come with rest in peace, left eye, rest in peace, left eye. Okay, I wanna go there. Okay, let me get serious. Okay, cancer, cancer. Oh, cancer, what's around you? Cancer, cancer, cancer. Cancer, what's wrong with you, Cancer? Cancer, okay, Cancer. Oh, wow. Okay, so Cancer, you could be intertwined with someone. This looks like Cancer, does it not? Hello, Cancer, this is for you, okay? This is your sign, 6-9, okay? This is Cancer right here. This is Cancer, so Cancer, you could be... Um, intertwined with someone okay this is someone that you're entangled with okay it doesn't look like they're entangled but they're just like you're intertwined this is your yin to your yang or your yang to your yin okay this is the energy of that okay um i see yellow and green so someone is leading with their heart and someone's leading with their ego there's the energy of that too this could be you you could be leading with your heart and your ego you know just take it as it resonates okay um I see here that someone is happy, okay, and there's someone that who doesn't look that happy. This person looks pretty happy. She's like, mm, he or she's like, mm-hmm, come here. And the other person looks like they're pretty, wait, they look pretty sad, you know? They look pretty sad. Or they just are kind of numb, okay? It could just be that the person's numb, you know? They're not really expressing, okay? All right. Wow, this is Aquarian energy, Cancer. You could be dealing with Aquarius or you could have Aquarius in your chart. This is like the water barrier. So I see this as release, okay? There is, I'm hearing ecstasy, okay? So this, this connection that you have or whatever this is, this entanglement you have, it, there's a sense of ecstasy and release here, okay? Um... I'm also hearing that the um, the uh, emotions are running high, okay? Um, you could be getting messages, okay, or messages, news is coming in that um, uh, makes you emotionally overwhelmed. It's like the, it makes your emotions high, like your, your, your emotions are running high, okay? Um, I'm hearing like letting go, like like putting your hands up, letting go, okay? 
So for some of you, you could be letting go of this entanglement. You can, you could be, your entanglement could be coming to an end, okay? That's for some of you, not all of you, okay? But I also see this as release, you know, as release. Wow. This was, I believe it was in the Taurus reading, Aquarius, can't remember, maybe even Aquarius. So I see this. I'm hearing answered prayers, okay? Answered prayers. Some of you could be having your um, prayers answered, okay? You could be praying about something and you're letting go and letting God, that's what I'm hearing for some of you, okay? Um, I see this as well, Cancer. There's a need for you. Um, cause some of you are connecting you're, some of you are connecting with the divine, like you're connecting with the divine directly, like you're coming into contact with the divine. Okay. This could be someone that you look up to. This could be someone, this could be an aspect of yourself recognizing your own divinity. Okay. I see that as well. Um, I also see this as there's a need for you to understand that you're not you're not alone, okay, Cancer? Because I can see if this is not another person you're entangled with. This is just spirit. There, you never lose connection with spirit, okay? From the time you come into this world to the time you leave this world, it's, there's still connection with spirit as long as you allow it, okay? I really see this card too as surrendering. My apologies, uh, my computer died. <laughs> So, um, I did say last that I saw this card as surrendering too. So I see this as for some of you surrendering, letting go. Um, I also see that there's a need for you to, um, for some of you cancers to, uh, look to your angels to help, um, guide you. Um, and the reason why is because some of you may be in an entanglement or in a situation or in a mindset that is, um, probably not serving you. So you're needing like some angelic guidance, you know, AKA, AKA, uh, righteousness, you know? <laughs> so if you have a devil on your shoulder or in an angel, talk to the angel. Okay. <laughs> talk, talk to the angel. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Wow. Oh my God. This is kind of dark here. Okay. This is a little dark. Okay, this is sadness. This is, this is despair as well. I see this. Okay. Um, some of you could be grieving. Okay. Or other people are grieving about you. Cancer. Okay. Um, or grieving over you. I see this rose. Okay. I see this rose here. Um, and it's like the person is trying to, it's like, it's trying the the person is trying to open up the rose as, oh, as though he's looking for it. Okay. So somebody could be looking for you, um, like looking for you or are you looking for them? Okay. Cause he's looking for something. Okay. He's looking for something. Um, you, this could be you, you could be looking for the beauty. Okay. You could be looking for the happiness, but you have to understand, you know, there's a saying life is not a bed of roses. Okay. And we're talking about the rose petals because that's the soft part. Okay. So basically what it's, what I'm saying is that life is not going to be happy, happy, go lucky all the time. There are going to be some painful moments, especially because there's two parts or three parts of the rose. Of course, it's the stem, the rose itself, the bud, and then there is the thorns, okay? So we experience the thorns in life. We go through that, okay? But it's our decision to release, release this, whatever offenses that we have held on to, whatever pain we have held on to, release that, okay? And stay hopeful. Keep your faith and faith doesn't just mean, okay, you have to go to church and be a part of a religion. That's not what I'm saying. Whatever spirituality is to you, whatever brings you closer to God, whatever brings you closer to your divine purpose, 
you know, whatever brings you uh, close to peace, happiness, uh, do that, okay? This can just be connecting with the divine, connecting with your higher self, okay? But there is someone searching. They're looking for the answer. They're looking for something, okay? And there's darkness here, okay? So this tells me that there's a sense of feeling lost, okay? And this could just be a little bit of confusion, you know? It doesn't have to be, like, something super heavy, okay? Wow. Look at that. So... This is like an angel trying to get you to see the beauty inside of you, to see to see the potential that you have, Cancer. Look at this. This is divine connection. This is divine oneness with spirit. Cancer, I really feel like you, you some of you guys will be connecting with spirit, directly connecting with spirit, feeling spirit. Um, okay. Um this, I also uh, see this as um, discernment, having spiritual discernment as well, okay? Um, this is going within yourself to find the light, to find the truth, okay? Because some of you, you know, you could be going through things and it's easy to point the fingers at other people, but you have to take a look at yourself. And this is what your angels want you to understand, to take a look at yourself. If it's not an angel, this is someone angelic it could be an earth angel someone that is you could potentially look up to somebody that is righteous somebody that is you know kind just like an earth angel okay they're trying to help you see see your potential help you see um maybe your mistakes or blockages this is someone who's trying to help you see okay if this is not the case this is you trying to help someone see okay it can go either way um, sometimes, um, you know, we have to take into consideration, not everyone wants to listen. You know, we can give our advice and try to help people, but we have to also understand free will. So cancer, understand free will. Okay. Uh, when it comes to yourself or when it comes to others, okay, we have we have the right to make the choices we make. I mean, we can make whatever choice we want, good or bad. We have that right, but there are consequences, you know? So we have to understand free will. Okay, so look at this here. Okay. He's holding something, and it looks like he's holding a skull here, okay? Um, and this is holding on, I'm hearing, holding on to dead weight, holding on to things that are not growing, okay? So this skull just represents that, okay? So if you're holding on to old, outdated ideas, behaviors, responses, it's really important for you, Cancer, to take a look at that. And the way you can see this is by looking within, okay? Accountability as well, Okay? Okay, your words do have power. Okay, I also see this as prayers being answered as well. Okay, you praying and prayer being answered. Okay, um, and I'm hearing let go, let God. This, this, this is for those of you who are struggling a lot and you just don't know what to do. It's like, it's like you're praying about it. So since you've prayed about it, it's time to let go and let God. Okay, just allow everything to unfold the way it, it should or it's meant to be, okay? Um, I also see this as words having power, so being careful with the words that you're using. Um, be careful with um, what people are telling you as well, Cancer. Be aware of that, okay? Be aware of what people are telling you. Also, I feel like this card here is telling you to use your intuition, your internal compass. It's a call for you to really use your internal compass. Don't just go off of um, face value. Look at that. So spirit is trying to talk to you, Cancer. Spirit's really trying to get your attention. This could just be someone trying to get your attention, someone trying to be sly about getting your attention, okay? Um, but there, I mean, there's seeing this bird here too is spirit. So you guys are really having um, like some serious spiritual connection, <laughs> like really um i mean you guys are really feeling spirit like for some of you because i just see it i see it all here okay 
It's like you're one with spirit. Okay. So I see that somebody's trying to get your attention and uh, so call for you not to be distracted. Try not to be distracted in your despair. Okay. Because for some of you, you're in that despair or you're in that vibration. That's a low vibration. And you can't really heed the messages. You can't heed the message that spirit's trying to give you. Okay. You're not heeding it. You're not paying attention. Okay. Spirit is in you. As you can see here, the bird here, the bird, the eye right there and the wings and then the bird speaking. So it's like you are one with spirit. Okay. So let's take a look and see. I've got this message for you guys. I've got this message for cancer. Some of you guys got to clean out your ears so you can hear you can hear spirit release what no longer serves you because um, really um, it's like your guides or spirit or even God. I mean, they're trying to get your attention about something. OK. And it's something about your life, like what you're dealing with. OK, let's see. One, two, three, four. Wow. Ishtar boundaries boundaries ishtar boundaries love yourself enough to say no to others demands on your time and energy wow okay so cancer this entanglement that i was talking about okay you need to learn how to say no to other people this could be your colleagues okay your work environment this could be a relationship there is some health unhealthy boundaries that you have cancer um this could be even you overstepping your boundaries okay um where people have to say no to you. It can go go either way, okay? But if you're needing to say no to other people, okay? Do it because it's it's the right thing to do. Okay? Don't just say no for no reason, just to be a brat. You know, if you feel like somebody has been overstepping their boundaries and draining your energy and and taking up your time, tell them no, okay? But for some of you it's hard because this is an entanglement. This is a connection that is like you're intertwined with this person. And uh, for some of you, it's not healthy, okay? So love yourself enough to say no to others. Demands on your time and your energy, okay? Some of you could be getting drained, okay? Hopefully, you're not doing the draining, okay? So <laughs> either way, set some healthy boundaries with yourself. Set some healthy boundaries um, with the people that are around you, okay? So um, I hope you guys like this reading. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, feel free to send me an email. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month. God bless and happy Halloween.